Today we will start new chapter and that is the transmission of light through different mediums. There are few mediums in which the light can penetrate through and travel in that. We call them transparent medium like light can travel inside the glass, light can travel inside the water. As I told you when a light enters a different medium there are three actions taking place. One action is some of the light is reflected. Some of the light is absorbed here and some of the light is transmitted inside. This reflection we have seen the rules of reflection through plane surface through curved surface. Now there is certain absorption here and because of the absorption intensity of light goes on decreasing, 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 decreasing and after a certain time we may not be able to see the light and that place will be dark. If we go inside the sea initially we will see certain light coming from the water and more we enter we find it is getting darker, darker, darker at the bottom of the sea it is totally dark. What is that? That is some light energy is getting absorbed all the way. That is absorption. But what we are studying today is transmission. The light which enters the different medium, it start entering from this point. Now at this point when it enters it, there are certain changes which takes place and the, these changes are in velocity and direction. There are certain changes and the study of those changes is known as refraction. So what does a light do when it enters a different medium? We say it refracts. It refracts. Now we will see exactly what happens when it enters a different medium. The very first thing is here is medium 1. This is medium 2. A light ray when it enters this, this is the point of entry and it goes inside. What is the difference between these two? What thing has changed? Answer the characteristic of velocity has changed. If here is the velocity v1, this velocity will be different and this will be v2. Now this depends upon the characteristic of medium 2 whether this velocity is slowed down and how much. We have seen that if the light is coming from free space or air that is as good as free space then any medium in the nature will always slow it down. Slow. So velocity always decrease when the light is coming from free space. It becomes slow. So it depends upon the medium how much velocity will decrease. Now when we calculate how much velocity will decrease that depends upon medium we give it a name which indicates the strength of the medium to reduce the velocity. Some medium reduce less, some medium reduce more. Like if the light is going in the water, it will decrease. It will decrease by 33 percent. Okay. When it goes into the, no, it will uh, decrease less, uh, say one fourth. But when it goes into the glass, the glass decrease it much more. In glass, it will become only 2 upon 3 of its original velocity. So in this way, in water it will become 3 upon 4. So there are different medium which are decreasing the velocity in different amount. And that measurement 
the strength of a medium to decrease the velocity again strength of the medium to decrease the velocity is known as index and what index refractive index so here we get a quantity refractive index and how do we measure the refractive index it is by velocities velocity of light in free space divided by velocity of light in free space velocity of light in the medium this is refractive index okay now this refractive index we have given a symbol that is mu v in free space divided by v in media and this we call mu of the media okay less is the velocity more is the refractive index that is strength to decrease the velocity this is the refractive index okay so we have studied what is refractive index what is the index of refractive index refractive index and what happens to velocity remember it always decreases when a light enters from the free space in the free space there is a velocity of light 3 into 10 to the power 8 and whenever it enters a medium the velocity will decrease now if i tell you uh, the refractive index of glass is 1.5 can you tell me what is the velocity in glass so answer is 1.5 is the refractive index velocity in free space velocity in glass so velocity in glass is velocity in glass is velocity in free space 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second divided by 1.5 so this is equal to 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second this is velocity of light in glass so this is refractive index now in the next lecture we will see the second property the second property is what happens to direction and that we will see in the second lecture thank you